If you're looking for a trusted source of natural supplements, look no further than NutritionW.com. Since 1979, Nutrition World has been a staple in the Chattanooga community with dedicated research specialists that stay ahead of the trends to make sure you have the most reliable products available at the most competitive prices. All of their supplements are vetted for quality, effectivity, and potency, and shipped using the utmost care with cold packs included in each and every order. You can shop online now at NutritionW.com and choose from thousands of your favorite supplements, sports nutrition, pet, and specialty food products today. Nutrition World, partners on your wellness journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Holistic Navigator Podcast, where we talk about all things holistic health and believe in the body's capacity for self-healing, if given the proper nutrients and care. We just want to take a moment to say thanks for listening today and welcome to any new listeners we might have. I'm Brian Strickland, the producer of the show, and I'm joined today in the studio by our host, Ed Jones. If you're anything like us, chances are your stress levels have been riding a little high these days. We're all trying to navigate the uncertainty of the future, staying at home with our families, and the lack of physical and social interaction with other human beings. So on today's episode, we're talking with Cheryl Myers, the Head of Scientific Affairs and Education at Europharma, about how these high-stress situations may be taking a toll on your body, resulting in adrenal fatigue. This is a timely conversation, and Cheryl brings some really fantastic information surrounding the topic. So let's go ahead and get this started. Here's your host... Mr. Ed Jones. Thank you, Brian, very much for the uh, introduction. And yes, we are back here with the Holistic Navigator on a totally separate topic, and that will be adrenal fatigue. I know that a lot of people know what that is, and perhaps some don't, but it's affecting millions of us because of our workload, our stress load, uh, lack of sleep, many reasons that we will discuss. But the good news is, there's always options. As you know, by listening to me over the uh, past uh, 68 episodes, I'm firmly convinced the body has its own ability to robustly heal if we nourish it correctly. Well, today I have a true expert on this topic. Her name is Cheryl Myers. She's Chief of Science, uh, Scientific Affairs and Education for Europharma, one of the most reputable and, and credible companies that ever has been in place in the United States. And welcome, Cheryl, to the Holistic Navigator. Well, thank you so much for that kind introduction. It's a pleasure to be here. And, you know, I want to just say, you know, I've been doing this for 41 years, and I've watched a lot of people, heard tons of stories, uh, studied intensely my entire life. And the little bitty adrenal glands that's, that sit on, uh, you know, uh, on our kidneys in, the, in our body, rule so much of our quality of life. And I'm not going to get into explaining it. I'll let you do that. But what's happened is we have so many people who are slugging through the day because the adrenals are not able to do their job any longer. And there's not a medication that can fix it. There are medicines that can help kind of uh, be a Band-Aid approach, but they're not really going to heal and replenish the adrenal glands. So, uh For everyone listening, uh, Cheryl, let's start an intro. What do the adrenal glands do? Well, when we talk about the adrenal glands, these are called endocrine glands. And endocrine glands are glands that make hormones. And we may think we are who we are, but the truth of the matter is, is we're pretty much whoever our hormones tell us to be. Uh, So if if this was driven home to me one time when I had to have some pretty severe dental surgery for a wisdom tooth that grew in funny and uh, they were afraid I'd have swellings and they put me on steroid hormones. They put me on uh, steroids for a couple of days and it totally changed my thinking, my energy level, my social boundaries. Uh, It was quite a whirlwind of an experience and that was that was many many years ago but I've never forgotten that experience that the way that our our bodies, the type of hormone mix that we have going on affect everything from our energy level to our ability to heal from injuries to the way that we think. Uh, They can even affect our focus and our memory. So the adrenal glands is one of the important ones. Adrenal glands make adrenal hormones, uh, the purpose of which is to give us emergency energy. And that might be a bit of an oversimplification, but when I'm talking to people about our glandular network, I say that 
the thyroid gland is responsible for our everyday energy, our minute-to-minute energy. It's responsible for converting fuel, which is the food we eat, into energy, the energy we need for our lungs to pump and our hearts to beat and our, and our muscles to contract. So I always call the thyroid gland the marathon runner because it has to provide every minute of every day baseline energy. The adrenal glands are sprinters. The adrenal glands sprint into action when you are in an emergency situation in order to assure that your body has the resources necessary to extricate yourself from any dangerous situation in which you find yourself. So they give you this sudden burst of energy. That's one of their most important activities as they give you a sudden burst of energy when you are in a stressful situation. And I know that people have heard this term. <clears throat> it's a classic psychological term, the fight or flight syndrome. When you are walking home after a double shift at your job and maybe somebody called in and you had to pick up extra hours and you are so tired and you think, oh my gosh, when I get home, I'm going to fall face forward in my bed. I'm not even putting my pajamas on. You're that fatigued. And when you come around the corner, a great big tiger leaves out at you, I 100% guarantee you are not going to be so sleepy that you can't fight back or run away. That's your adrenal glands trying to rescue you. In order to give you that kind of energy, it changes some of the ways that our body works. So it takes resources away from, for example, our gastrointestinal system, because if you're facing a tiger, you don't need to digest your food right now and puts them into our muscles. It releases emergency stores of sugar from our liver in order to give us a sudden burst, burst of, of blood sugar. It revs us right up. You know, your your pupils uh, change shape. You're, you've, you've, you break out into a cold sweat. You feel like your hair is standing on end. So that's how powerful, and it can happen instantaneously. That's how powerful our adrenal glands are with that sprinter's kind of energy. The thing is, though, that it's usually not an all or nothing situation. It's not just either you're sitting in a hammock enjoying the sunshine or you're facing a tiger. Uh, It's we all of us live our lives between those two polar opposites. And so our adrenal glands are stimulated on a regular basis by all kinds of different things that occur in our environment, including psychological stressors, including being ill, Uh, people think about stress as uh, a mental state, like I'm all stressed out or I'm anxious, but stress can also be a physical state as well. If you are infected with um, a bacteria or a virus that puts stress on your body and your adrenal glands have to respond to that stress to try to give your body the emergency energy it needs. If you are locked out of your house in 10 degrees below zero weather, uh, you uh, are putting physiological stress on your body and your adrenal glands leap into action to try to rescue you. So when we look at the adrenal glands, um, they really are some of your best friends in your body because they are trying to protect you and rescue you. But unfortunately, the ways that we live in our modern lives have put an enormous amount of stress on our adrenal glands themselves. And our adrenal glands can sometimes experience some fatigue. They get tired. They can't respond quite as well as they did. And that's when we start to suffer some physical consequences. Wow. What a eloquent and perfect explanation. I don't I've never actually heard someone who could go from A to Z as as quickly and 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 explain it to that level. Thank you so much, Cheryl. So we all know now what the, the adrenal glands can do. We also, I think, in, uh, uh, within our own self, realize that overwork, overeating, too many carbs, all the th- I know, I'll let you explain this. But so many things have caused our society to have a adrenal system that has gone from very fully functional when we're a teenager many times to less functional with every passing year. And like you said, the, the, the adrenals are made to give us the quick energy and to save our life and to help us journey through challenges. However, it would be like going to the gym, I imagine, and doing bench pressing all day long. I mean, you do some bench presses, you're going to get stronger, it's going to work, it's going to make you better. But there's a point of diminishing returns. And that's what's happened with our society with lack of nutrients, one, you know, and and too, too little sleep and too much pushing and never downtime, no silence, no meditative periods. Uh, so what is the symptoms of people who truly have what we call adrenal fatigue, Cheryl? 
Well, when, <clears throat> excuse me, when people are experiencing suboptimal adrenal levels, and I have to say here that unfortunately, and I've worked in mainstream medicine for decades before I started to work in integrative medicine. <clears throat> when I worked in mainstream, you know, everything, you're either 100% well or you're 100% sick. And that's just not the way that hormones work. So individuals may test in a medical test that, oh, you're not low enough to be diagnosed with an adrenal disease. But at the same time, if you are at the low end of the spectrum versus the high end of the spectrum, your life is going to be very, very different as far as how you feel every single day. So <clears throat> it doesn't mean that just because you have some of these symptoms does not necessarily mean that you are in a dire adrenal situation. However, it does indicate that perhaps you need to have something that bolsters your nutrition, that bolsters your adrenal activity, that provides raw materials to improve that functionality. So uh, a lot of times with low adrenals, we see that people get exhausted easily, both mentally and physically exhausted. So let's say that you're just, ex you're just tired and people tell you if you want more energy, you have to get out and you exercise. And you force yourself to get on a treadmill or go to an aerobics class and you come home and instead of feeling better, most people feel better after exercise, uh, you feel worse. And in fact, you might be wiped out the rest of the day. Uh, if something traumatic happens, even if it's not a huge trauma, uh, let's say uh, you have a flat tire, it can feel so overwhelming that you just want to walk away and go to bed. Uh, it, these you know, psychological traumas are hard to respond to as well. Uh, some people with adrenal problems are intolerant of heat. Uh, that's not universal, but sometimes that can be a symptom that they that they you know feel a little overheated. Uh, sometimes people who have lower adrenal function feel very overwhelmed. Sometimes even filled with dread. Uh, they don't wake up feeling like ah today is a new day. Life is sunny and beautiful and bright. Uh, they think oh my you know they start to worry right away that something bad is going to happen. And uh, people with low adrenal function can become class A warriors because their focus is on uh, this, this feeling in their body that something bad is going to happen. People with low adrenal, because they're so exhausted, often fall asleep fairly easily at night, but then they pop awake in the middle of the night and they can't get back to sleep and they, and they, they fret uh, and they can't relax. So just some of the, sometimes oh, a couple of other things is uh, people who have low adrenal function can crave salt and a little bit to a lesser degree crave sugar because these are, are two things that, um, that we sometimes see with people who have low adrenal function. Man, <clears throat> that is uh, so informative to people. And I know a lot of, of listeners are going to resonate with that. And they're going to say, all of these years, I've had similar symptoms and no one has really called it adrenal fatigue. But it, and, and I've, again, been doing this for four plus decades. It makes total 100% sense. So, uh, you know, tell the listeners the next step. So let's say that, uh, well, first before that, let me ask you your opinion. I do recommend a thorn test kit that we, we actually offer through the Holistic Navigator under products for testing the cortisol levels. Is that something you find of value? It's a four-time uh, four test in the uh, 12 hours. Well, if anybody can name a single adrenal hormone, they can probably name cortisol because we've seen so much about cortisol. Um, and so when we talk about cortisol as an adrenal hormone, excessive levels are associated with uh, high levels of pressure that you're putting on your adrenal gland and high levels of stress. Uh, excess cortisol in your body is very dysfunctional. It increases your blood sugar levels. It plays a role in diabetes. It reduces your ability to heal wounds. Uh, excess cortisol interferes with your body to be able to repair itself. It uh, can make you feel very twitchy and very anxious uh, and can even contribute to obesity. So if you're on the high end, then you need to address things uh, from a different perspective. But when we're talking about adrenal fatigue, what we there's three patterns that we see. Either an individual has just overall low cortisol, uh, which means they're not making enough of a necessary hormone for their adrenal glands to function at their, at their optimal level. They may also be making cortisol, but it's very erratic. It's not associated with the body's own natural biorhythms. So they may be, have low cortisol, 
when a healthy person is should be having high cortisol, which is first thing in the morning, and then their cortisol levels might be through the roof at bedtime when healthy individuals who don't have adrenal issues, their cortisol is um, in the basement. So they can have this very erratic cortisol pattern. And then you can have individuals uh, that go for days with low cortisol and then something happens and that spurts a little bit. So I do like individuals who are struggling with some of these symptoms for them to understand what's going on with their cortisol but to recognize that you you know that there you have to put on your thinking cap when you get your results because um, the, they can be sometimes a little bit difficult to interpret easy to interpret if they're universally high easy to interpret if they're universally low not so easy if they're in the sort of the chaotic range mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh but that's we can help people to do that on many levels. So uh, again, that's the Thorn Test Kit at uh, uh, the Holistic Navigator uh, website under products. Hey guys, we're going to get back to our conversation with Cheryl in just a moment. But we wanted to take a second to tell you about our sponsor today. Terry naturally exists to improve the health of America, one person at a time, and they offer premium supplements that are safe, powerful, and effective. Founded by Terry Limerond over 50 years ago, they provide everything from essential nutrients to some of the best specialized formulas that anyone has to offer, including their popular Curamed line. Learn more at terrynaturallyvitamins.com. Terry Naturally, high quality products that deliver high quality results. It's okay, Cheryl. Let's say that, you know, the person is convinced pretty solidly that this is absolutely, and they can do it through, you know, good practitioners who practice functional integrative medicine. They can do a lot on their own, and they want to embrace a natural program that can help to replenish and rebuild this adrenal system. What's the next step? Well, no matter what natural medicine or supplement you do, you use, you can't out-supplement a bad diet and lack of activity. So, of course, the first step, and 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 I think folks <coughs> know this, is to... You know, eat as healthy a diet as possible, avoid processed food, get that sugar down. Uh, the You know, sugar is like crack cocaine to your adrenal glands. It is just, it sets up a very dysfunctional response in your body. So get that down as far as you can. Uh, but, but moving on from healthy levels of activity and rest and those other non-supplemental interventions, there are some supplements that can make a tremendous difference. So the, the company that I work for has a, a retail product brand called Terry Naturally. And one of the products we make is called Adrenoplex. And Adrenoplex is a combination of nutrients, each of which address adrenal dysfunction from a different perspective. So there's, it's, um, it's almost like a multivitamin mineral formula for your adrenals with a few other things thrown in. So, for example, it has nutritional support. Number one, the B vitamins. Uh, the B vitamins are required by your adrenal glands in order to make hormones. Uh, they're one of the building blocks. So not only are they necessary uh, for our overall health, but they're especially useful for the adrenal glands. Now, our B vitamins can be in the form we find in food or in most supplements, uh, which have to be converted in the liver into the active form. Uh, because so many people that are struggling with their health are not very good converters of the B vitamins, we put in the already converted. These are called bioactive B vitamins. I always call them the Cadillac B, B vitamins because no conversion necessary. They are just a premium kind of B vitamins and they go to work immediately. There's also amino acid L-tyrosine. This is another building block raw material that your adrenal gland uses to make those all important adrenal hormones and vitamin C. It may surprise folks to find that the only place in your body where you store um, um, a measurable amounts of vitamin C is your adrenal glands. So you can see that if you are, are ill or under stress, how depleted you can become of vitamin C very quickly. One of the reasons why vitamin C is such an essential adrenal gland nutrient. Now, there's also two herbs in this formula. Uh, one is called licorice and one's called ramania. Licorice helps keep cortisol active a little bit longer. So for individuals whose cortisol is erratic or uh, running a little on the low side, this doesn't increase the amount you're making, but once your body makes it, it keeps it around just a little bit longer in order for you to have more um, healthy benefits from it. 
uh, in addition to licorice, which is very useful, we have a little purple flower called Romagna, and it contains a compound called catapol, which very mildly stimulates overall hormonal production within the adrenal glands. Last but not least, there's three hormones in this product. Uh, there's DHEA. DHEA is a hormone that is made in your adrenal glands. And what I love about DHEA is that it's a chameleon. It can change its shape and form into whatever, in over 100 different things that your body may need. So let's say you're a lady going through menopausal changes, and all of a sudden you've got a, a decrease in ovarian function. You're not making near as much estrogen as you did a couple weeks ago. So a little bit of that DHEA will convert into estrogen to help soften the blow body doesn't like cliff events it likes a nice little taper off same thing with gentlemen if men are going through some issues having to do with reduced testosterone uh, production in the body and their body needs more testosterone a little bit of that dhea will convert into testosterone as i said this single hormone can convert into more than 100 different compounds in your body that your body may need in addition to staying itself Uh, that's made in the adrenal gland and often we see a big dip in DHEA when people are starting to experience adrenal fatigue. The next is pregnenolone. Pregnenolone again is another one of those hormones that is uh, not only functional as it's in its own form but also is used as a building block to make other adrenal hormones. And last but not least there's an adrenal extract. Uh, These are the nutrients found naturally in the adrenal glands of mammals. Uh, Our adrenal extract comes from beef. It is from um, grass-fed source in Argentina where we do a very clean adrenal extract. So this is not a vegetarian formula. It is a very powerful formula. I encourage people to use it first thing in the morning and a second dose at noon. It is not stimulating as in, for example, caffeine might be stimulating, but I encourage people to try to get their dosing in earlier in the day so that they can replicate your body's own natural biorhythms, which is your adrenal function should be highest uh, in the early mornings and taper off throughout the day. And by evening, you don't want to be asking your adrenal glands to rev up because they naturally should be slowing down. So uh, people can adjust the dosage somewhat, uh, but it's generally one to two capsules a day can increase to one to two capsules twice daily. Wow. You know, I so often when I counsel with people, and I'm sure that you've done this for decades also, you know, it's really a, a learning process. And I ask a question, an open-ended one, and they kind of, you know, speak for five to eight minutes. And when I put together the pieces So often it's obvious that they have adrenal dysfunction or adrenal weakness based on lifestyle. And I have recommended the Adrenal Plex by Terry Naturally more than any one single product. And I always can look at people in the eye and say, of all the products that I probably could recommend to you, and this isn't the fix for all your health now, but for you to feel better in a very short time I have absolute confidence that this product can probably do that for you. And I do explain to them that you need to play with the dose. And that's, again, my opinion and experience, you know, one pill in the morning and one 12 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And if not feeling it in a couple of days, go to two and two. And that generally will make it happen. And I do want to tell listeners, uh, you can order uh, all of these products we speak about at nutritionw.com. They are our sponsored uh, link for products. So nutritionw.com, you can go in there and type in Adrenal Plex, Terry Naturally, and have it shipped to you very, very quickly. Uh, So is there any people who should not perhaps use Adrenal Plex? Well, for example, if and of course, if anybody has allergies to any of the ingredients, people who are vegetarian because it does have some animal source nutrients, um, if you are if you take this product and you are feeling very energized, too revved up, uh, it may be too strong for you. Maybe you need something a little bit milder. Uh, we do have an herbal formulation called Adaptra. Uh, Adaptra is an herbal formulation. It's two clinically studied herbs with rhodiola and ashwagandha, both of which are in at their full medicinal doses. They're not in synergistically. I mean, it's just genuinely a two-in-one kind of product. And both of these um, adaptogenic herbs can provide provide a little bit milder stimulation. Um, 
which used for, uh, and it is a, v- a vegan formula, it's used for individuals who have, I would say, a little bit more mild to moderate adrenal dysfunction. Uh, it's also used by athletes because it increases stamina and endurance. Uh, I use this myself when I'm going into something that's incredibly demanding. I didn't have to do it this year, but for example, Expo West, the Super Bowl of the natural products industry, is extremely stressful and very, very long days on, in, a, in a show floor for 12, 14-hour days, day after day. I start my day with Adaptra, and um, I, that's my go-to. So the difference between the two formulas is Adrenoplex is really powerful, and it pushes up. It pushes in one direction, up. It pushes your adrenal glands and helps to support them to be bigger, stronger, healthier. Uh, Adaptra is more about balance. It pushes towards normal. So if your adrenals are a little underactive, it will help nudge them up. But if they're a little overactive, if you're under a lot of stress and you're a little twitchy all the time, uh, and you know maybe the holidays are coming and you don't feel prepared, it, it's not even necessarily bad stress. Sometimes even uh, going to a wedding or going on a vacation, even though we may enjoy it, is still a stressful event. It gives you, it helps to uh, nudge your body up into um, a, a level of mood and stamina and strength where you want to be. That's that's wonderful, and I'm glad you reminded me of the Daptra because I do find that for the people who need nudging, and I like that word, that it's a wonderful combination. Lastly, I, we, you and I both know, and I think even listeners would know, that, again, supplements cannot fix a terrible diet, but it also cannot fix a lack of sleep because the sleep is where we rebuild our body. It's where the adrenals, the brain, the heart, everything uh, is in the process of cleansing itself and renourishing during sleep. Do you have any last suggestions for people who are going through chronic insomnia and and he- helping them to get that level of sleep that's regenerative rather than that light sleep? Um, absolutely. There's so many different inter- interventions a person can use. I have to say, not that I want to dwell over much on Adapter or Adrenoplex, that sometimes if you help with daytime function, the nighttime function follows. So, for example, if you help uh, with the getting the body back into its natural biorhythms of higher cortisol in the morning, lower at bedtime by using Adrenoplex, then sometimes that in and of itself plays a role in helping to facilitate sleep. Uh, but we also have some wonderful products. We have two different types of products. We have an herbal product called Terrific Z's that's a blend of essential oils. It's a very gentle, helps people fall asleep, stay asleep. I personally really like the, uh, we have a family of products called Curamin that are natural pain relievers. We have a Curamin PM that helps to alleviate inflammation, which is sometimes something that all individuals, especially when we get a little bit older, start to struggle with that can interfere with proper sleep. And it uses melatonin, which is um, a, a compound that um, helps reset our biorhythms to healthier functioning. So fall asleep, stay asleep. There's been great studies on the, you know, the Curamin PM's melatonin that it enhances the amount of time you spend in stage three and stage four sleep. You spend more time in dreaming sleep. I will say that with either of these products, people may notice some very vivid dreams. Not necessarily scary, but more vivid than perhaps what you've been used to. Well, that's because it is you're helping your body spend more time in that very restorative REM sleep. Uh, so when you use it over time, sometimes the, that uh, dreaming will settle down a little bit. But having extra levels and depth with your dreams is a very good thing. Uh I love talking to you. I think we could do this on a very regular basis. You have a vast storehouse of experience and knowledge, Cheryl, and and I know listeners are going to feel less adrenal fatigue because they now have a game plan uh, of a solution that's that's going to work if they put the other pieces of their life together. Again, you know, getting to bed on time, you know, managing EMFs are important to me. I've written a book on you know, no more sleepless nights. I've done a holistic navigator on sleep. I am a chronic insomniac myself. So any listeners who want to learn at least my take on what is what can we do to help us get to sleep easier and stay asleep deeper, you can go back in some of the uh, maybe 40 or 50 episodes back and listen to my sleep uh, episode. 
Uh, any last words, Cheryl? Because this has been a one it will be one of the most uh, listened to, I do believe, podcast uh, of the past months, other than the topic at hand at this moment. But uh, what uh, any last words for people on this? Well, only that, you know, first off, if you, you always work with your healthcare practitioner, um, I'm a big believer that we always get the best outcomes when everybody is pulling in the same direction. So, you know, work with people that are knowledgeable in order to understand what's going on with your symptoms, that they're not masking something else that's going on that needs perhaps to be addressed. I always say, people say, if you could only take, if you could only do one thing for your health, what would you do? And they always expect me to answer that uh, with a specific supplement. But my answer is develop a relationship with a, a natural products provider that you trust, somebody that takes the time to do the homework, uh, somebody that takes the time to really sort through the products so that they're only offering the clinically validated products. They've already taken a lot of the guesswork out of it for you because it can be difficult and there's a lot of distractors out there, uh, especially some of the fly-by-night companies that we may have seen, I'm sure you've seen as well on the internet that make a lot of unfulfilled promises. But if you can get connected to individuals that help guide you to supplements that are clinically validated, scientifically studied, that actually contain medicinal amounts of the vitamins, minerals, and herbs that you need, you can really see some tremendous health benefits. Uh, again, you just echo so much of what I say. I tell people very constantly, we have to build a team approach as we age to maintain optimal health. If the world is too complex to do all your own homework and you don't know who to trust, and the the holistic navigator, I think we've built a great level of trust among listeners, and I certainly have a wonderful amount of trust in Neuropharma and Terry Nationally. Uh, I've had Terry Limeron on uh, my radio show. I've had him uh, speak uh, at our local location, and he's just um, a, a hero in my mind. And the way that he has put together the company and placed people like yourself is such a value to all of us. So thank you so much, Cheryl, for being part of the Holistic Navigator. Thank you so much. And to all the listeners, always stay tuned for the upcoming topics. We'll never run out of subjects to speak on, but we always will have good options for everyone. Please have a blessed, calm, and safe day. Thank you. This is Ed at the Holistic Navigator. The information on this podcast and the topics discussed have not been evaluated by the FDA or anyone of the medical profession and is not aimed to replace any advice you may receive from your medical practitioner. The Holistic Navigator assumes no responsibility or liability whatsoever on the behalf of any purchaser or reader of these materials. The Holistic Navigator is not a doctor, nor does he claim to be. Please consult your physician before beginning any health regimen.